Hi folks, my name is Andy Schultz. I'm with the Maine Forest Service and I'm going to focus in on the left-hand elements, the so-called live elements uh, that uh, Amanda mentioned before. So we're standing here in a mixed wood stand. Uh, mixed meaning there are softwood trees uh, and hardwood. Um, particularly behind me is a hardwood stand and that's a good illustration of several of those elements. Um, let me first mention though, starting from the bottom up with the left hand, and I'm going to go like this, that's the riparian area, that's water. Um, we're standing on a hill so you won't see water here, but water is important. Uh, any number of bird species need the water, they need the vegetation that's around the water, the usually shady aspects of that. And by the way, that shade that uh, protects the temperature is also good for brook trout and other fish, which illustrates that when you're managing your forest for birds, you're also managing it for other species as well. So this is really one way to, uh, to work with wildlife in general by working with certain birds in particular. So moving up from the riparian area, we have the understory, which as you recall, is the, the first six feet from the ground up. So if you look here, you'll see that we have some uh, sapling trees in that zero to six foot range. And when we assess this, we tend to look, what we want to look at is see how much vegetation is in that layer. Uh, there's a term called closure. So if you were to stand there and look up, how much of what you saw would be covered by leaf uh, material? Uh, in this case, there wouldn't be a lot, but there's some. The next layer up is the mid-story. That is from six feet to 30. And you'll see that some of the trees here are in that range. Again, there's not a lot of them, so the closure is not high, but there is some. And then of course, the third layer up, the overstory above 30 feet. Uh, as you look into the background, you'll see there are trees in that, uh, in that strata and there's probably more of that still than the other layers right here. So not just some, but maybe more than some. Now that's the, the quick and dirty assessment that you do uh, with your handy tool. Um, sometimes though, you might ask a forester to go out and measure that in a little more detail and, and put that in, uh, in some sort of a plan or something like that. But for the purposes today, we're just gonna go with the, uh, the handy method. So that fifth piece on the hand, on the left hand, is gaps. And that would refer to the openings in that upper layer, uh, above 30 feet. Uh, we're standing in an area that is relatively small gap, but still is going to be used by birds like uh, flycatchers. Uh, something else to think about when you're looking at the live stuff are your tree species and the mix. And I mentioned this is mixed wood. Uh, what we have, um, Nearby is a softwood inclusion of pine and hemlock amongst a, a, a greater forest of mostly hardwood. And certain bird species really look for that particular feature. So these are some of the things that you can walk through the woods and um, notice, write it down, or you can have a forester do a more formal assessment or inventory of these features. Another, another feature that you wanna look for is what we call a legacy tree. These are bigger, older trees. Usually they have bigger, fuller crowns. They were here at a time when they had more light. They could open up. Uh, we're standing next to one here that um, provides yet another element of wildlife habitat in general and bird habitat in particular. So here's another example of the three elements of habitat that we talk about on the left hand, the so-called living side, and the three elements are the understory, the midstory, and the overstory. Understory is from ground level to about six feet, and you'll see right here we've got pine, hemlock, we've got um, a softwood understory filling in here. Basically somewhere where you can't really see through the woods, that means that there's understory there blocking your view. Now, if you look up above that six foot level, six feet to about 30 feet, that's what we call the mid story. That would be the, the middle finger of those three. And you can see up here that includes some of the lower branches of taller trees. 
as long as they have leaves on them and they're filling in that space, then there, there is a layer there that some birds need or use. And you'll see that that's filling in a little bit in this part of the woods. And the third is the one that, as a forester, I'm always looking at. And it's, it's really important to look all the way up. And that's above 30 feet, so more than a three-story building. 30 feet and above is what we call overstory. And there are a lot of birds that require either a very uh, dense closed-in overstory or a mostly closed-in overstory with small gaps. So that overstory layer is um, also very important. Thank you, Andy, for that great review of the live elements of the forest that birds and other wildlife really depend on. And I invite you back for the next section where I'm going to be talking about how great dead wood is. Please join us. Thank you.